In this video, we're going to show you how to connect Voxel 2 running PX4 to Q Ground Control. What we have right here is Voxel 2. We have a, an ESD mat, I'm going to be using ESD protection, and Voxel 2 is down here. I have USB-C plugged in, and we have a, uh, an AD, ADB connection, uh, which we're going to use shortly to configure Wi-Fi. Uh, we have an add-on board here. It's called the uh, USB debug board. It's M78 is the part number, and it is a little L-shaped board that has a fast boot button. It has a USB port. Uh, this particular one has uh, the, the console for the uh, kernel logs um, and then has an emergency boot button for factory or a switch. Uh, uh, this is a, just a jumper. I couldn't find a jumper, so this is just a, a debug wire. But um, this, this allows us to, this is powering USB off Voxel 2. The other option is to power um, the system off of a DC supply for, for uh, USB devices that need more power than, say, an amp. Um, we have Voxel 2 powered on through the power module, and then um, let's get going. So here's a little Alpha Networks USB uh, Wi-Fi dongle. I'm going to plug this guy in. Uh, out of the box, this guy should, should uh, just turn on, and um, we're going to configure software in a second. Plug, plug that one in. Blue, this little light starts flashing. And let's go over to the terminal. PDB shell. So first, let's let's configure Wi-Fi real fast. So if we go Voxel Wi-Fi, let's see what we have here. So we have a couple options, and we can put it into a soft AP mode. I'm going to connect to station over here, and this is um, uh, Voxel Wi-Fi station, Jarvis, and then. Um, I'm going to hide the password. Cool. So right there, I entered the uh, Voxel Wi-Fi uh, station, and I did the SSD and then the password. Um, so let's go see what that looks like now. I have config and we have an IP address. All right, cool. And uh, let's just do this. All right, happy, happy. Um, okay, so that's gonna give us an IP connection. So the next steps, um, PX4 out of the box. This is a, a freshly, fe uh, freshly flashed Voxel 2. And I'm going to run a command called voxel inspect services. So out of the box, PX4 runs, um, but we need a couple more supporting tools uh, to get networking going. So let's do that. We're going to do voxel configure mavlink server. And we're going to do factory defaults, yes. And then do we want to enable uh, communications to the flight controller, that's what we're doing. So we're going to say yes. Oh, cool. All right. So that's the first step. Next step, one more configuration. Voxel configure vision PX4. Factory defaults. That sounds good. And then do we want to allow the communications? Yes. And then here we want to enter the IP address of our workstation that's running Q ground control. So on my system over here, um, I'm going to be at 1.33. So let's do 192.1.33. All right. Uh, this is asking do we want to uh, allow some offboard modes? For right now, I'm just going to say no. Cool. That's it. All right. So at this point, the, the Voxel 2 is on network. We've configured the services. If I go Voxel inspect services, we're going to see two new services, Voxel Vision PX4 running and the Mavlink server running. And now if I open up Q Ground Control. Manual flight mode, pre-flight fail, compass sensor zero missing, pre-flight fail, right. accelerometer zero uncalibrated, pre-flight fail, gyro zero uncalibrated. 
All right, so no uh, sensors are hooked up. We haven't gone through the calibration, but we have a connection to Voxel 2 running PX4.